Hello and welcome to the 12th annual Friends of Max Cold Telethon. I'm Shannon Ferry. And I'm Emma Clark. Tonight we are here to celebrate Hofstra film while entertaining you with talented musical performances, all while raising money for the Max Kolb Scholarship. The Max Kolb Scholarship is awarded every year to deserving film students in honor of Max Kolb, a film student at Hofstra who tragically passed in 2001. Max was a dedicated, bright, and eager film student whose dreams live on in the careers of others. Every year we gather to help raise money for students just like Max. While the scholarship is only awarded to five students each year, there are so many more deserving film students. By helping us build up the scholarship, you are increasing the number of students the scholarship can help. That's right, Emma, and our phone lines are now open and our operators are standing by to take your call. So to donate, call 516-463-1200. You know, Shannon, I was getting so excited for the show that I took the liberty of writing a song for tonight. Do you think that's okay? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if anyone knew about this. Uh, no, they didn't. Absolutely. But not. you're going to do it anyway I'm right now. I'm going to do it anyways. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to the 12th Max Kolb Telethon. My dress is so tight, well you bet I'm wearing a thong. <laughs> Musicians play songs to perform for the show. It's a Sunday night, you got nowhere to go. So eat your frozen dinner and watch our telethon. All the money you give is for a scholarship fund. Film students are poor and you shouldn't be stunned. So give your life savings to the Max Cole Telethon. If you donate, well, it just takes a quick pause. It's not for my yacht, that's a separate cause. Ah. Every cent helps at the Max Cole Telethon. It's hosted by myself and Shannon Ferry. We look great now, but without makeup, we're scary. Welcome to the 12th Annual Max Cole Telethon. We're here by the phones. No need to leave your homes. It's the Max Cole Telethon. Our phones are on. Wow, Em. That was great. I mean, thank you so much. It, it, it was a little spontaneous. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone expected it. But. The least I can do. <laughs> well, now let's send it over to our first, or I guess that would be second performer of the night, Mike Tedesco, who is hanging out with his band in our Winter Wonderland. Take it away. So many broken promises Never could pull through Never did realize That all I do and ever did Reflects upon my ways Reflects upon my face I'm trying not to let it get to me No I can't make it on my own Suck it up, suck it up, and let's go. They want to see what I know. I got their hearts in my hand. I can either squeeze and make that damn heart bleed, or I can nourish it, nourish it with song. Uh. I either have it or I don't. If I continue to hide, I will never know. Like I'm tumbling, 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 tumbling all the way down. Tumbling, tumbling, tumbling all the way, yeah. Down, down, down. You watch me, you watch me fall. Forever, forever falling. I'm too concerned with what's going on. I, 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 I can't 
could have sworn I was a right now, right here kind of person, but I am seeing all the worst in myself and I'm hurting. Oh, I'm only concerned with what I think of me. Don't ask me what I think of me. No, I promise I will never change. I begin as myself and I'll end the same, no matter what comes my way. Even when I'm tumbling, 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 tumbling all the way down. Tumbling, tumbling, tumbling all the way, yeah. Down, down, down. You watch me, you watch me, I'm falling. Forever, forever, I'm falling. Oh, I'm too concerned with what's gone wrong. Let it go and just move on. It's not about set the end. It's how we get there where we've been. now here with our own Michael Fuller, right. who will be telling you all about our giveaways tonight. During the show, you will have the opportunity to make a call and get make a donation to the Max Kolb Scholarship, and you can receive some of our amazing giveaways in the process. Don't forget, the number to call is 516-463-1200. You can also check our website at maxkolbtelethon.com, where you can see a complete list of our giveaways. Just our way of saying thank you for your donation. True. Yep, that's right. So, Michael, you know, how much do, you, if they make a donation, yes. they can get something for it, they right? They sure can. They sure can. And we have so much here tonight. But before we get started, I just wanted to say it's great being here with both of you. You both look lovely. And it's great to celebrate Max and raise money for these amazing scholarships. And I just noticed your necklaces look pretty great there, guys. They oh, look great. Oh, thank, well, thank you. you. Well, that's they're right. actually a premium tonight. Mm -hmm. If you donate, they retail for 150 but we're giving them away for 100 each. Hey, hey, guys, you see? Very glamorous. Wow. First gift of the night. Well, <laughs> tonight, guys, we have a lot of great items that viewers at home can purchase with your donation. We've got Yankees tickets, Mets tickets, and tickets to a brand new play and on Broadway. You guys really don't want to miss that. And we've also got shirts from some of your favorite shows. And for you vinyl fans out there, vinyl records. Wow. We also have one very special item, a Gibson Epiphone acoustic guitar signed by none other than country star Darius Rucker. Oh. I'm sorry. Am. Even though you were great. You were great in the beginning. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> no problem. So call the number on your screen and let's get these telephones ringing, guys. That's right. Let's get these telephones ringing. And while you're calling in, let's hear from some of our talented film students as they tell us a little bit about why they became visual storytellers. I had a professor, George, who told us once that film is the language of dreams, and it's my way of, if I'm successful, taking you into my head and showing you how I see the world. I wanted to be a visual storyteller because I felt like words weren't enough. Like whenever I would read books or listen to music, I'd always have this scene or some kind of scenario running through my head that matched either what I was reading or what I was, or what I was listening to. And then from there, I, it gave me a, bit, a better understanding of what action was going on or what a song meant or what a story was about. My mom used to always call me Walter Mitty because I always told grand stories and everything was a big production. It was never just like I walked to school or it was never, you know, I went to school, I came home. There was always imagination and adventure spewed into it. and. I knew I wanted to do something in a creative field from a very early age. Both of my parents worked in office jobs and I saw, you know, the lack of creativity they had, the day in and day out crunching numbers and going through this and that. So I knew that I didn't want a desk job and that I was 
so involved in storytelling that I wanted to do something visual and story related. Action! I think what really got me interested in film was looking at the, the aspects of storytelling that you could do with it. And just seeing the way that directors were able to create these stories, it was like nothing else I had ever seen before and I really kind of fell in love with it after that. I've always liked kind of creating things, and whether it's been poetry or, you know, stories, short stories, or just things that I build. I've always liked creating things, and I, I always thought that filmmaking was the greatest combination of all those, whether it's, you know, art, paintings, and all that. Visual storytelling, I think, always appealed to me since I was a kid because my mom is a children's librarian and she would always read to my sister and me and show us the pictures. And when I saw films or when I saw plays, like it just kind of fit, it just clicked with me. Film was kind of my way to communicate with other people since I was like, I grew up in Japan, but I also moved to Singapore and Connecticut, Greenwich, like a lot of places. And I couldn't speak English, and that was my way to communicate with other people you know, through film. I enjoy everything that goes into it. I enjoy that you can express yourself through film, and you can't really do that with a lot of other subjects, and that it's your artwork. When I was younger, my mom was really sick. And every morning, we would wake up and we would watch movies like from between 7.30 and 9 a.m. before I went to school. And to me, like film's all about escape. And the way I was escaping like my weird childhood with my mom being sick was watching these films. And I think that I grew like a serious connection to how people think outside the box and they get very involved in the story that they're watching and they sort of forget about like the meaningless stuff that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that's really like why I wanted to make films, because films for me was such an important part of my childhood that I guess I'd like to give other people that opportunity to go in, see the lights go down, movie comes up, and then they forget about everything that they have to worry about on a day-to-day -day basis for like 90 minutes. You know, Shannon, there's so much more to a film student's life than most people think. It really seems like it. It does. And tonight, as you look around our studio, you will see all four seasons, which represent a filmmaker's journey from the stillness of winter to the rebirth of spring. And as we stand here in the season of fall, let's welcome our second performer of the night, Mary Desiree, playing her song, The Fall. What more can I prove? Everything I do is for you. Can't you see that you're slowly tearing me? And now I'm stripped to the core. Tell me, what can you see? Do you see? Little me hiding my face behind these walls in disguise, trying hard not to cry, just so you won't sing me at the bottom of my phone. Here I am, understand all I do. this 
I'm the one who caused all this uncertainty about me. Where I'm heading, I can't breathe. I can't seem to find my way back home. Tell me, what do you see? Do you see little me? How did my face be? Guys, trying hard not to cry just so you won't see me at the bottom of my fall. I need to see, I need to be free from all the way you chained to me. show you all that I can rise, I can rise from the bottom of the fall. I can rise, I can rise, I can rise, I can rise from the fall. I can Your life behind those eyes. 
Trembling floors and crumbling walls of this wretched town. I need to find this happiness, a reason to smile and be myself again. To find this life worthwhile, I need for you to hear my song and finally my story of the journey that brought me this far. can bring me down no one can lift me high but my self i'm not afraid to There's certain things in life that we always talk about, you know, whether it's love, whether it's hate, whether it's laughter, whether in any situation there's always things that need to be filmed and it's so easy to show these things with film because that's how people connect. I fall in love with different things at different times in my life, which I think is good because it mixes, you know, it often makes things interesting. And I think that people should keep like diversifying, you know, till they die. I think the biggest advantage I have is that I know both American culture and Japanese culture, so what I really want to do is kind of like a hybrid of this two, like find a common ground or maybe introduce one culture to another culture. It's like there's just a lot and, and it's just whatever comes to me in the moment and, and what I really, what feels important to me at the time when I'm writing or at the time of my life that I decide to take up a project. With the films that I've made, a lot of them have been about love and hate and growing older and just the stereotypical things that people think about on a day-to-day -day basis. And showing them through my films gives you know people the opportunity to think about these things differently and hopefully affect the way that they think about their own lives. There's this, this underlying theme of a person trying to change the world around them but not understanding the scale of the world that they're trying to change. Ultimately, through film, I want to tell stories that not only I enjoy, but that others enjoy. I take pieces of my life and I, you know, like magnify them, put everything on a bigger scale. I choose comedy because I don't really take many things seriously, even in real life. I just think everything, you can add comedy to it and has a comedic value, I guess. I don't know, I just don't really take anything seriously. <laughs> One of the biggest themes of my film is just kind of like hopelessness. And at the end of the film, it's kind of like the song Cats in the Cradle and the Silver Spoon. And that's kind of like the mood of usually all my films, is that song. <laughs> Every story that I start writing, it's because I'm interested in that subject. And I get a chance to learn about that through working on it. My senior thesis project is about a young girl who goes through an everyday struggle. She gets the lead in her elementary school play and her father can't be there. 
the whole creative side is when she visualizes herself stuck as a giant carrot for the rest of her life. So it's almost it's a humor to it, but it it also shows like her struggle of not being accepted, which ultimately starts from the home. There's no one particular message that I have that I want to like really tell with my film. I'm making a film right now about how once you get to a certain age, you some people think that it just stops right there, but it doesn't. No matter how old you get, you're still susceptible to new experiences. You can still experience all these new things, so life doesn't really stop. And I think that's really something that I want to say for my film is that no matter how old you get, no matter what you go through, there's always more things to learn about. Wow, hearing the filmmakers talk about their work really gives us a sense of why they were so intensely drawn to the art of filmmaking. And of course, we're doing this show to help them achieve their goals. Now let's check in with Michael and see how we're doing. Thanks, Emma. Well, we have $1,763 on the board so far, but we're just getting started. As we mentioned earlier, we have a really special gift for the right caller tonight, the Epiphone acoustic guitar signed by none other than country superstar Darius Rucker. You country fans, <laughs> you don't want to miss your chance with this particular item. It's a very exclusive item, and it could be yours, so just call in. As you can see, I have my buddy Hi. Lindsay here tonight, Hi. and she's hanging out with me and telling me all the great things yes. we have going on tonight. So I understand that so many people were on the website, it almost crashed. Can you tell yeah, us about that? Yeah, we actually went right on at 9 o'clock uh, at night, Yes. and we had over 500 people come to our website wow. today. So that's over 500 people wow. that are coming to see us. So keep going online Excellent. and looking at the live stream. Excellent. So do you know what are some of the hot items that people are really wanting to purchase tonight? There's a lot of cool stuff. There's cool gift cards to everything. Yeah. And we have signed books and we have the signed guitar. That's very true. As a country fan, that's pretty awesome. That is, so, that's very true. Yeah, so keep calling. There's a lot of stuff, and this isn't just everything. We have a lot of stuff in the back room. Excellent, excellent. Well, it is great. Thank you so much for coming on talking to us. And talking about signed books, we have Sesame Street right here, and this can be yours. So we are going to take a short break, and when we return, there will be even more great music coming your way. So don't go anywhere. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. Right. one. Thank you. Open. Hi, Ron, can you please have a box left? <laughs> Everybody must be taking one. A and B. When you go to the first stop, you take last, just take LX1. Welcome back. The phones are ringing, and now is your time to call us and donate. There are several items to make an offer on, so call now before your favorite item is taken. While you dial 516-463-1200 and make those donations, let's head on back to winter and welcome back our first performer of the night, Mike Tedesco. Like a desert baby taking in the sunlight. My body's burning high. Come on, stop me tonight. This feeling, rather this pain that bites deep down inside. Without it, I am nothing but a fraud. In the day of light, shot out something new. Let me see you, babe, but try out something new, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's something that's been missing here, yeah. Oh, you lie. I will not let you wait no more. You will go with me. You will take that broken road and will smile. Leaving all of this be. The 
talking what's in front of you It ain't smart to look behind all the time You soon find yourself searching for yourself That feeling Rather than pain that fights deep down inside You gotta go when you're ready and be ready to stay for a while Give it a try, try out something new let me see you, baby, try out something new, yeah, 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 oh, something that's been missing here, yeah, oh, you life, and I will not let you wait no more, you will go with me, we will take that broken road, and we'll smile, living all of this be. Mike, aren't they so talented? Wow, really? Yeah, and speaking of talent, making a film isn't easy. It takes months of planning, shooting, and post-production work to make the perfect piece of art. Now let's hear from our Hofstra filmmakers as they tell us what makes their films so personal. I think you put a little bit of yourself into everything you do. I think that you put so much of yourself in your own films because it's what you know best and it's easiest to take that and express it to other people through your film. Even if I'm not telling my own story and I'm not directing or writing or producing a story that is my own, I will be working on other stories that are just as important and just as special to the director as mine was to me. So that definitely should be taken into account with everything I do. People spend long, hard hours working and perfecting their craft, that everything that I would do is definitely not only a professional career, but also a better connection to the people I work with. One of the biggest things that got me into filmmaking in the first place was the sense of family that I got being on set. It's such a collaborative work, so it's just hard not to put my personality in it. Like I said, I always make the film something that relates to my culture and American culture, so it's hard not to put my self in there, I guess. <laughs> when I'm sitting in the director's chair, everything that I do, every decision I make about the film that I'm shooting, it's all going to come from personally like what's inside of me. At the end of the day, and I look through that lens and someone looks back at me and they produce the emotion that I'm looking for, move forward to the time where I show that in a theater and I see a bunch of people's heads turning around after they watch my movie and either smile, laugh, cry, walk out. It's those types of emotions and those types of reactions that will make this worth it. Wow, that's really something. Who knew that it was so emotional for these filmmakers? It's really inspiring is what it, it is. is. And born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts, Jesse Andrews was brought up in a very musical home. He began performing at a young age, and tonight he'll be performing his original song, Same For Me. Please welcome Jesse Andrews. <laughs> Show your love, the love that you give to everyone, especially to me. And I will throw away my dreams 
But just to have another day with you Would you believe? And I will promise to follow through With those things I said I'd do So in return You do the same for me And I will chase away your fears The fear of your future coming in It's becoming so clear And if no one stays strong for you You can be sure that I will There's no compromise on that And I will promise to follow through with those things I said I do so in return you do the same for me So in return You do the same for me You do the same for me You do the same for me trip leave nothing behind because all you wanted was to make some sense of all those pieces but just still a bloody mess what are you waiting for make your moves you taste your success but you got no clue where to begin and how it will end in your cards and there is no backup friend uh -huh. take you away from that foggy place where you still stand and if it turns and reaches out get a grip bite your lip you still have nothing Jesse and the rest of our performers have given us their time and their talents for tonight's show, and they have done this because they want to help us raise money for this terrific cause. Now we need you to do your part. If you haven't called in to donate yet, remember, the number is 516-463-1200. While you were enjoying that performance, other viewers were calling in and making their donations. 
So how are we doing over here, Michael? Well, you know what? That was absolutely true. It was an excellent performance, but people were still calling in. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, things are being cleared off the table already and new stuff is being brought on. So people are continuing to call and our operators are working hard. They're getting lots of donations, but we still need your help. And by donating, you could take home Mets tickets or Yankees tickets and so much more. So call now. So let's send it back over to Shannon for another performance. Shan Shan. <laughs> Well, that's right, Michael. People are certainly calling in, and we want to take a quick moment to say thank you to the people who have donated so far tonight. But as Michael said, we still need help, so go to our website, maxcoldtelethon.com, take a look at the great giveaways we have, and give us a call. Our next performer, Andrew Muller, well, when he's not playing the guitar, he leads a religious congregation here on Long Island. Let's welcome him to our stage with his song, The Raging Tide. I feel the water rising now The undertow grabs at me again So Lord, stand as my rock Before the water tracks me in Yeah, I feel the tide Scraping against my heels, pulling me in. So, oh God, deliver me from the dark night and the raging sea. I need your covering to reach into your world. Save our souls. Cause this storm has left your servant mind Like clay would shape the broken heart Take back what we thought was lost Oh, your love is here To carry us through the waves As the tide rolls in You cover us with your grace yeah, God is here, the ruler of the night, the rock who holds back the raging tide. Won't you sing a song? The victories in Christ, who raises his hands, watch the storms reside. I hear the moon laughing at me As gravity pulls at me again But Lord, you stood as my rock Reshaped the clay and you healed my heart You took back what was lost Oh, your love is here To carry us through the waves As the tide rolls in, you cover us with your grace. Yeah, God is here, the ruler of the night, the rock who holds back the raging tide. Won't you sing a song? The victories in Christ. Who raises his hands, watch the storms reside. As you sit on your throne in power and majesty, you still are here in the darkness loving me. As you sit on your throne with power and majesty, you still are here in the darkness loving me. As you sit on your throne with power and majesty, you still are here in the darkness loving me. God 
is here, the ruler of the night, the rock who holds back the raging tide. Will you sing a song? The victories in Christ, who raises his hands, watch the storms reside. Escapes me when my mind takes over again. So I fix my eyes on to you and hide in your love. And so break me. I don't wanna stay here. So change me. I don't wanna fail here. Strip from my eyes All that blinds me Yeah, I need to know you I need to know you So let your word come make it still For my eyes are blind and my heart is wild But you tame me So I fix my eyes onto you and hide in your love So I fix my eyes onto you and hide in your love so break me, I don't want to stay here, change me, I don't want to fail here, and strip from my eyes, all that blinds me, yeah, I need to know you, yeah, I need to know you.
think the most challenging thing for me is that I don't have connections really to the filmmaking industry. I mean, there's a lot of technical things that I had to give me a lot of difficulties, but in terms of like, as a filmmaker, I feel like it's hard for me to be completely confident on what I want to do or what I want to do in each scene or each shot. You know, there is that rule, you know, whatever can go wrong will go wrong. I'm trying to figure out which one is the most. So <laughs> filmmaking is hard. Everyone's going to say this. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. I think throughout the filmmaking process, the most challenging part has to be as you're writing and you have the deadline you're writing because what happens is each word is very easy to write. It's very easy to put a word down on paper but if you write in a school bus you have to now find a school bus. Just proving myself I guess. It's hard to prove yourself. Um, eventually I won't have to but for right now that's my biggest struggle. I guess one of the most difficult aspects of filmmaking is not the actual production and not the you know the post-production because by that point hopefully if you did the proper pre-production everything will go completely smooth. Well I mean most challenging for me has always been getting organized and, and being able to really just have everything set and ready to go. It's such a time commitment and you don't realize how many different things need to be done and that's probably the hardest thing is trying to sit there and account for everything that you may possibly need, even if it seems so minuscule. Like going back and doing different drafts or, or you know, taking another extra 20 minutes to figure out a certain lighting scheme so that it looks perfect. It's the struggle, in my opinion, it's the struggle that kind of makes you better at what you do. And especially in this field, it becomes very crucial in the learning process. It's such a time commitment and you don't realize how many different things need to be done. Because you have a certain amount of shots you want to do within a day. If you can't get that done, then you have to either go over or add a new day and some people aren't going to be happy about that. Not only is this a career that I want and desire, this is also a love that I had. And to be able to separate my desire to make money and to, to produce films up against my just desire to make my art. That I think that's something that a lot of people struggle with, especially at the points when they're starting to make things just for the paycheck. And I know in my life that is going to happen, but I'd really like to avoid that as much as possible because I don't really want my art to be put on the back burner in, in that sense. Welcome back. My Shannon, what wonderful neck accessory you have. Why, thank you. Well, this is actually another giveaway, so if you call in and donate, this could be yours too. Who knows? Lots of necklaces here tonight. <laughs> They're so. beautiful. Well, just as young filmmakers face challenges, we have our own challenge tonight. Our goal is to raise money to help cover the immense costs of creating a film. That's right, Emma, and Hofstra has some very talented film students, but we also have some very talented musical performers. <laughs> Are you talking about me? I mean, well, I'm a little <laughs> tired from the beginning, but I guess I could do another one you know, if I, you want. I, I actually, that was wonderful, but I actually wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Blue Lennox. Oh. They came together here at Hofstra, and they just recorded their first album, so they're really excited to play one of their new tracks for all of us here tonight. So let's welcome Blue Lennox with their song, Bluebird. My hands, my hands are too cold. The way they used to follow and trace over the keys set in gold. Now they are pretty breaking the light to me. Why did you think I'd not notice? You let them go Now I'm grasping at air On a smoke-covered ledge I can't see Why does that not surprise 
price me It's been a while, your wings are tired, but we got to fly from the winter's cold. And I know that you're missing your springtime, but your heart has died, so leave it behind. Go, Go fly. They can't breathe They are caught up in the moment When they're falling, falling down Like the leaves But I know there's no one to catch me So I'll hit the ground Let me lay here tonight I swear I won't make a sound And I'm here torn apart On this sadly cool ground I can't breathe Please Show me at the sea It's been a while, your wings are tired, but we got to fly from the winter's cold. I know that you're missing your springtime, but your heart is Go fly. Girls, that was so beautiful. That blew me away. <laughs> now let's check in with Michael and see how our phone operators are doing over there. Michael? Well, our phone operators came in tonight for the same reason our performers did. They are giving their time to answer your calls. We have raised our total to $28.23. That's $2,283. Wow, that's incredible, and we need the phones to keep ringing. We have some really cool stuff left. As you can see, this King of Leon's vinyl record, as we were talking about earlier, and let me show you this. The ESPN tote bag, the baseball cap, and we have the sweatshirt. Now, these items cannot be purchased in the store. They can only be, they can only, you can actually only have them if you're an employee of ESPN, but you know what? Tonight, we have them right here for you guys. So if you guys want them, you want to call in at 516 Four six three twelve hundred to make your donations. Coming up, performances by Trish Torales, another song from Lou Lennox and Nick Tangora. So stay tuned; you don't want to miss it. I'm Laura Fu, founder of the Friends of Max Cold Telethon. 
Thank you for tuning in tonight and keep those phones ringing. The reason why I keep going and keep being motivated to make films is just the finished product itself. And I feel like filmmaking is a very like masochistic process and it's like putting yourself through all this pain and through all this stress. Like while you're in it, it's like man, this is horrible. But then like at the end of it when you have your finished product, like you kind of like sit back and you reflect on the whole filmmaking process and you're like wow, that was all worth it. Knowing the effort you put into it and the hard work you put into it and seeing what you can do through that and what comes of it, it's just the best reward ever. <laughs> Each film always teach me some new lessons. Like that's why I kind of like I want to learn more. I want to like learn something new. And I feel like I've actually I'm actually growing into something. Now that I've been on a lot more senior sets and I've been on other people's shoots, I'm having a lot of students ask me to be DPs on a lot of their stuff, just kind of off of like the last piece of work I did. I guess what it really ultimately comes down to is is other people, I guess, kind of being able to see the things that I think about. I, I have a lot of ideas that I, I don't necessarily see out there in everyday life, and I feel like being a filmmaker gives me an opportunity to kind of show those ideas to other people. Definitely one of the things that keeps me going to pursue my career in film is watching all of my peers produce excellent work. At the same time, you know, it, it's hard not to compare yourself to that work. So, you know, you can say to yourself, man, I just want my movie to be better than theirs, but that's not exactly it. You want, your, your, you want everyone to just be good. So seeing other people doing so well is kind of what keeps me on my tippy toes and learning all these new lighting tricks and learning all these new camera tricks. It's really seeing other people's work that makes me continue to say, hey, maybe I actually have a shot in this business and it's not just glorified Hollywood that you see on TV. I can't stop the stories in my head. You know, I could be sitting on a bus or in the middle of a big party and there's just those moments where everything kind of fades into the background and you get that vacant look in your eyes and you just, you have this story that needs to come out and I have no other medium for doing that so there's no way I could stop doing films, making films. It's a different field, it's something you know, that I can't explain to other people why I do it and why I don't have free time on weekends and why I'm missing calls and emails and hangouts and this and that. But I don't, it's just something that I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about. I love telling stories. I love just seeing through the creative process, editing. I also keep going because of the community we have here. Like, I don't want to let anyone down. They call me Jim. That's not my name. That's not my name. <laughs> All the people here are more than just friends to me. It's like I've created a family here and I would love to continue to work with these people and you know the weekends that I spend with them on film sets are some of the best weekends I've ever had. It's kind of the first time that I've done something and it's been leading me on a path to something else. Any job in filmmaking is the best job in the world. You get to get together with a bunch of your friends and wake up early and come together to make a project. And you put something out into the world that wasn't there before. Welcome back. Trish Torales is a local singer-songwriter who won Best Rising Star at Got Talent Long Island last March. How about that? Holy mackerel. She performs <laughs> with different bands all over the island, and she is here tonight to play her song titled Set Me Free. My mind, it's always on the loose end. Your word is my cue to a build us something new. Just tell me all those things you would like to do. Come on, be there. Take a chance on me. 
make a move Cause I don't want to lose myself Trying to find out someone else I wear This could set us free You could set me free Oh, oh you I could set me free oh, You think this might leave us good But I'm the one that you lose you don't trust in me yeah. I don't need a few my tricks and lies from all those other guys You are the key Just tell me all those things you like to do Come on, baby Take a chance on me I make a move cause I don't want to lose myself Trying to find that someone else where This could set us free You could set me free oh. Take a chance on me Make a move Cause I don't wanna lose myself Trying to find us someone else I wear This could set us free You could set me free Tonight, 
Don't deceive me, God. You'll be sorry, so you will stay. Oh, I leave this place tonight. Studio B in Dempster Hall. It's Hofstra today. As many New Yorkers breathe a sigh of relief after Osama bin Laden's death. And definitely, it's going to be very difficult, I think, for the Republican Party to come up with someone to counter him. We're here at the 8th annual Hofstra Town Hall meeting. Grade yourself as president, standard letter grade. I would give myself an incomplete because my work is not done. All that and more happening at and around Hofstra today. Hey guys, I'm sitting here chilling at the beach, or my version of the beach, kind of in my sandbox. And we're getting closer and closer to the end of our show, but up still we have tons of stuff to give away. Obviously, I'm playing the summer long, this Darius Rucker guitar is still available. Obviously, as you can see, this Sports Center ESPN shirt is still available, guys. You can't get it anywhere else. And all of the items that we have, and I just wanted to let all of you know that we have raised up to $31.83. $3,183. It's amazing. But keep it going, guys. Keep it coming along. I'll see you soon. Thanks so much, Michael. It looks like you're having so much fun, and I really like yeah. the straw hat. Me too. It's a good look for Yeah, him. keep that. <laughs> well, Emma, there's something different about you. What is it? Oh, whatever do you mean? Well, <laughs> I've got a wonderful necklace on, and they're selling like hotcakes. Yeah, over well, there. <laughs> it looks like that's not the only thing that's selling pretty quickly. No, not at all. Everything mm. looks great over there. It's selling. <laughs> you got to call in. So I have a question, though. If um, it doesn't sell, do we get to take everything home? Because you know, that would be awesome. Mm, I'm not quite sure that that's how it works. But I mean, ideally, we won't be able to take anything home because people are going to call and donate. That's and, right. And they're going to get the prizes. Of course, of course. <laughs> I was just using uh, reverse psychology. So. Ah, uh, anyway, while you guys are calling in and making those last few donations, we're going to hear from Blue Lennox again with their original song, Man with the Balloons. Send 
the postcards from where the clouds collide Up, up and away we go To the castle in the sky Up, up and away we go We'll send the postcards from where the clouds collide much blue Lennox that was beautiful ah, I see what you did there beautiful well before tonight's show we had the opportunity to sit down with several of our film alumni they told us about life after college in the film world including two friends of Max Kolb and they shared some of their experiences with us let's take a look film is one of those mediums that incorporates every other medium, uh, sound and visual and music and everything. So it's a really cool way to tell stories. Growing up, I loved both movies and television. And it really was a no brainer for me. I mean, I was just one of those kids who immediately, I fell in love with movies, I fell in love with TV. And it was what I always wanted to do. There was never a second choice for me. I want to show other people the different emotions and feelings and relationships that occur in real life and allow them to connect and relate to the characters within the story. I loved movies, I loved television, and as I was growing up and just watching movies and always really interested in kind of how they were made and who makes movies, who makes television. Being on set for those four years and working with so many different people in different environments taught me everything I need to know to be able to work on these shoots in real life. For me it became, oh I can write a sequel to this movie or I can write something with those actors. And that's what I was doing in like second grade. Yeah. Instead of playing sports. Because that was for the losers. Cool kids were writing sequels to Back to the Future. The driving force behind working in the film industry is a, my passion for creating something artistic and meaningful for other people as well as the fact that it's really fulfilling. And I also work with my brother a lot, and he's been a driving force in like keeping me going and just like trying to working towards the dream of becoming a filmmaker. I like to laugh. I like to try and make people laugh. I also feel that it's, it's a great sort of immediate way to get a response to your work. You can show someone something, and if they laugh, then you know the joke worked. What are you doing? Only making the most delicious snack known to man. It's one of those industries where if you don't love it, you're not going to last very long in it. It's hard. It's hard to make a film. It's hard to, you know, to devote your life to this. I think you, you, know, you have to still feel like you have something, something to say if you really want to just keep persevering. I think the telethon is great in many different ways and has helped people in many different ways. I was friends with Max Kolb, I knew Max Kolb, and I knew him as a great person, as a talented person, and I think it's, it's great that there's something in his name that lives on so that people who weren't able to meet him, and weren't able to know him like I did, can always just remember him and hear about him so it's not forgotten. I'm also a recipient. I know friends of mine that were recipients of Max Kolb scholarships, so it just helps you make it through college. I think it's great that the memory can live on that way. I also think it's really great because I think it's a, it's a great showcase for talent in front of the camera and behind the camera. Last year, I, I think there were three or four of us that received it, and I feel like out of the seniors that got it, myself and the other senior that got it, we both went through a lot of trials with our films, and we were really happy to receive recognition for the work that we put in. The thing I love about the telethon is that it keeps Max's name out there. It's twofold for me. It's the name and it's the fact that I know people who have been helped by this money. So it's great that people who love film will get an opportunity thanks to Laura and Max. Max is very inspiring to me. There are a lot of events surrounding Max. When I met Brian and Angel and all those guys, Max was a part of that too, and we were all just getting to know him, we were all just getting to know each other. We found out that Spider-Man was shooting in the city, so we all went to see them shoot Spider-Man. 
I remember things that we did together. I remember the day I met him. And every year, I can kind of remember anniversaries of things where it's like, this is the time that I did this and Max was there. And so just the memory of that inspires me because I know that he was as passionate about making films as I am. So I believe that even if I'm not, not consciously thinking about Max while I'm making a film, I think that there's something inside of me that's always going to remember Max and kind of what he wanted to do because it was the same thing I wanted to do. You start to bond with people, you start to develop this mutual love for something and he was one of the people that ignited that love. It was nice to have started that with him. As you can see, Max Kolb really touched so many lives at his time here at Hofstra. His good heart and his dedication to filmmaking has inspired his friends and classmates. Just as he inspired them through this telethon, he continues to inspire another generation of student filmmakers. Max's example has inspired us as well. Over the last 11 years, this telethon has raised over $40,000 and awarded it to deserving film students. This year is no different. Now, we're going to give out the scholarship to this year's winners. Michael. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Emma. Standing with me tonight are Dave Veet and Connor McManus, two alumni and previous winners of the scholarship. They are going to announce tonight's winners. Now, before we go on, uh, we have a few people to thank, and so we want to thank, I think those names are coming up, or you know what? I think we're gonna go on to Dave. Dave? Thanks, Michael. It's been a great evening and we're very thankful for everyone who has called in and donated. Yeah. I'm pleased to announce that so far tonight we've raised $3,223. Wow. Gone. We're also here, of course, to announce the winners of tonight's scholarship. And they are... Major drum roll. <laughs> The winners are Carl Galvin, Megan Mandragon, Christine Muncy, Mike Sammartino, and the Max Kolb Telethon's own Corey Proton. Woo! Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And congrats to all. It's been a great night, and it's been excellent celebrating Max and all of the accomplishments. Shannon and Emma, back to you. You're right, Michael. It certainly has been such a great night, and congratulations to all of our winners. Thanks to our donors for calling in. And since we're getting ready to wrap up, we'd also like to thank the, the people who made this show possible, our wonderful production crew. These very hardworking students were here all weekend getting the show ready for air tonight. Mm. They sure did work hard. And we hope all of you watching tonight had a great time with us. I know we had a lot of fun. Oh, yes. So to close out the show, we would like to welcome our final performer. He got his big break on America's Got Talent, and we're so happy to wrap the show up with the very talented Nick Tangora. Top down, I chill out. Give it up, cause your problems mean nothing now. But when you can't free living it, do you know what living is? Wake up, step out On a rooftop of people from out of town And you know we're feeling it Cause we can't feel living it One love, follow the movement Give up the fight you've been losing And open up your blind just a little bit Look into the warm sunshine You'll be singing this I needed that, I, I needed that Take a little break from the world We're fighting back Start thinking that, got me thinking that Maybe this life is half bad You got what you want, you got what you need Take a little break from the world, why anything To be who you are, do what you please Cause this life is a beautiful thing But when you can't free living in Oh, yeah Do you know what living in Long nights Good friends, never let the good times end. Uh, let me hear you say Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Yeah, I drive slow, 
Blue skies with your feet out the window. I bet you don't know that if you let go of the world you see. Problems you don't even need. You're caught up with people to please. And open up your blind just a little bit. Look into the warm sunshine. You'll be singing this. I needed that. I, I needed that. Take a little break from the world. We're fighting that. Stop thinking that. Got me thinking that. Maybe this life ain't. Back. You got what you want, you got what you need Take a little break from the world, why'd anything So be who you are, do what you please Cause this life is a beautiful thing But when you can't free living is uh, yeah Do you know what living is? We are young, why can't you just see that? Before today, tomorrow, you can guarantee that. You got your problems, and I sure as hell got mine. You're worried about the future, just for once, enjoy the present time. This life is so bad, you know it's kinda like a game. Depends on how you play it, not and proud or how to shape. Wonder yourself, so live it up tonight. This smile, this feelings, I prove that everything is well alright. This life, okay, is <laughs> a beautiful thing. Take a little break from the world, we're fighting back Start thinking that, got me thinking that Maybe this life may be happy You got what you need Take a little break from the world, why anything? Do what you please, cause this life and life is a beautiful thing Oh, it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. This life is a beautiful thing. I'm caught up in your smile <laughs> You crazy Monroe style You've got me hypnotized I can't stop, I'm so mesmerized I'm just driven over words around you It's like I'm working on your lar on a fence about it Don't need a lift for love, you know that we already found it So here we go, I'll tell you anyway did you know? Oh, 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 oh. I love you so. Oh, 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 and no, there oh, ain't nothing that could pull us apart. Girl, you know I gave you half of my heart. Did you know? Oh, 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 ha, in my teenage love, I la 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 Is it cool if I hold your hand? Is it alright if I be your man? I've never been so hypnotized. I can't stop. I'm so mesmerized. It's like a quarry, it's a panga on the fence about it Don't need a look for love, you know that we already found it So here we go, I'll tell you anyway Did you know, oh, 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 I love you so, oh, 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 La 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 I can see your future with me, ain't that so raving? Feeling like a superman, you got me saving your heart. Restart, play it back, I'm trying not to set it too hard. Oh god, I'm on top of the world. We could be Lucy and Ricky and Herman and Lily, Sandy and Danny, Maria and Tony, Amy and Nikki, what up? You got me going and I can't shut up. I call me crazy, a buddy teenage love. Oh, 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 oh,
know there ain't nothing that could pull us apart in. Girl, you know I get you out for my end. Did you know? Oh, oh, oh. In my teenage love, I love you.